Hey, John here. Let's talk about how you draw lines that are semicircular in shape, or specifically what PostScript calls an arc. Okay, so let's start uh, by recognizing that an arc, it is semicircular and it's gonna have a center point. So to show you where the center point is, I'm gonna draw a crosshair on the page first. So it'll be a blue greenish color. We're gonna create a path. What's all this about? Um, I'm gonna draw the arc around a center point at 300 in the X axis and 400 in the Y axis. And I'm gonna draw the crosshair lines with 40 uh, points in length. So at the center point, which is 300, 400, for the horizontal line, I need to start 20 points to the left of this coordinate and draw a line that's 40 units long from there. And then this vertical line, I need to start 20 points south of that center point and draw a vertical line upward for the vertical crosshair. That's what's going on here, right? So there's my 30 and my 400 for my center point. And I subtract 20 from the 300 here. I could have put 280 right there. But just as we move uh, forward in more complexity in PostScript, this is more common uh, for what you'd want to do. We'll see later. These things can come from what are you would normally call it a variable. And you would need to subtract from that variable. So this is the more literal version of the same thing. Uh, and here's what your crosshair looks like, this blue-green thing in the middle of the page, all right? So let's look what an arc looks like. These are pretty straightforward. First of all, I'm going to make it black. I'm going to make it 100 points wide. And here's what the, uh, the parameters for an arc look like, okay? Now, an arc, the arc operator takes a center point in absolute coordinates, and it takes a radius from the center point around which it will draw the arc, and it takes these two uh, uh, parameters expressed in degrees of how much of the arc you want to draw. So I go from 45 degrees to 315 degrees, okay? So what does that mean? It means go out 100 points, and the 45 degrees is measured from the positive x-axis right here. So I'm gonna go down 45 degrees, down here to, I guess that would be 430 if this was a clock dial. And I will draw my line, which I've said 100 points thick, around this way until he gets the 315 relative to zero being on the X. That'll be 45 degrees up. So it'll look like a big fat C. So let's see what that thing looks like. All right. No problem. Now, because I'm drawing a line, I can still use things like line caps, right? So if I said one set line cap to round before doing the exact same thing, I'll just draw it on top of this one and you can see, yes, that works. I've got round line caps instead of the butt cap, which was the default. I don't know if I mentioned this before, Things like the line caps, the gray, the line width, and so on, all that stuff is reset every time you get to a show page. They're, as I, I did mention, they're not reset by the, the stroke or a fill operator, okay? So if I do a show page right now, and it clears the page, I no longer have the line cap set or the gray or anything else. It's back to the defaults, which is going to be black with butt caps. So if I don't even do these two lines here, all right, and I just execute these lines, what am I doing here? I'm looking at now the arc n operator. Let's just do this quickly and then look at it, okay? So this is when we'll draw an arc here, and I'll explain that in a minute. My point is, because I did a show page, it reset and lost all the settings of these guys, which is why I need to reset them if I want to change them in any way, all right? So let's clear this off and reset everything again. All right. It turns out this is the default for the line cap anyway, so whether I do it or not, it's currently set to zero because I just did a show page, and I want this one to be gray, okay? instead of black. And this one's gonna be 50 instead of the 100 that you saw on the big fat C shape that we just drew, all right? And let's look at what's going on here. This is arc N instead of just arc. And the only difference is that arc N goes around counterclockwise, the opposite way that arc did. 
these are the, all the exact same parameters that we sent to the arc operator. But because it's going to draw it the other way around, what happens is it's going to go from down here and go this way. That's why you saw the smaller size thing. It's the opposite of the one that went around the other way. Okay, So if we go back up to the top here, where we saw the big fat C the first time, and we go back to black and make the line with fat and so on, that's why these two mate perfectly, because they have the same um, uh, angles here for the start and the end. And they have the same radius, okay? That's the 100 here is the radius. We could, you know, when it set it to 200, and then it would just draw it further out from the center. All right? So uh, one of the obvious takeaways here is if you really want to draw a circle, that's just an arc that's drawn all the way around from 0 to 360, right? So if we set the line width to 1 instead of something fat, we set it to white, we create a path, draw the same thing with the same center point and the same radius, we go all the way around, we end up with a little white line in front of the other guys, right? It's on the top because it's drawn after the arcs that it now obscures. We talked about that in a previous video as well. So that's really all there is to drawing arcs. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to know about future updates. Thanks. Bye.